What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today is part two of me picking a random pen and giving you my very first thoughts uh, on every pen that I pick up uh, so that at the end of the three videos uh, I will actually choose a pen and an ink to ink up. Um, if you have not seen part one, do check that out. It was the last video that I posted uh, because that will explain a little bit more about what I'm doing. Also, which pen was the winner of that round? I have more pens in this tray to talk about than I did the last, um, but there are some duplicates to this tray. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see uh, as far as the timing goes, uh, but let's get into it. Uh, so very first, pen up for here is the Platinum Century 3776. I always have Deactermentus Cola in here, so it smells really good. Um, first gold nib I ever bought. Um, absolutely adore it. Uh, it just gives me the warm, cozy, comfy feelings. Um, don't feel like writing with something super, super fine at the moment. This is a fine nib. It's very fine. Polar opposite of that pen is the uh, Noodler's Triple Tail. Um, Obviously not super, super fine because this says three times. It's massive, um, still kind of stinky, but I also kind of love that stink. It's a weird relationship. Um, do not feel like this pen. This pen is one that I'll use maybe twice a year um, because it's just completely random, but super unique. Um, and then I have three Aurora Optimas. These are some of my favorite looking pens. They are gorgeous. Um, just simply stunning. This was the first pen I ever had custom ground. Uh, and this was like one of the very first special editions I ever bought overseas uh, at what was Le Cron de Comte, uh, which I think has gone under now, um, which is unfortunate, um, but I absolutely adore it. And then this one I actually bought secondhand and then had to have tuned. Uh, I just love the color, but I don't feel like using a piston pen right now because I do actually have a Lamy 2000 inked up already. Um, so. Won't be a contender on this one. The next one, Sailor Pro Gear. This is the large size, AKA normal human size. It's not the tiny slims. Uh, don't really love the slims, too small, uh, but this feels great. I absolutely adore the color. I'm a sucker for anything that is coffee brown. Just mm, magnifique, I absolutely love it. Ooh, I also have KWZ Smells Like Coffee. I could put that in there. This might be a contender. Uh, it is a medium fine nib, so it's slightly finer than what I want to use right now, but this could be a contender. Up after that, I have two Leonardo's. I have uh, the Memento Zero uh, Perugna. Um, bought this from Pen Venture. Emmy tuned it. He's phenomenal. Got this one from Pen Venture as well. Uh, this one has a fine nib, extra, extra fine nib. Uh, I usually put Diamine Writer's Blood in this. And then this one is a Memento Zero zero but it's something else I'm forgetting what it is right now it's the one with like the piston uh, thing in here I don't remember uh, this has an extra fine flexible nib I do not feel like flexi writing at the moment otherwise I would have picked a different pen from pen tray number one but I do adore these then we have a pen that I probably should sell <laughs> It's unfortunate that that's my first uh, instinct um, because it's the only Mont Blanc that I own. I have sold the other one I did own. Uh, it's a fine nib, it's gorgeous, it is brown and I love browns. It's the Le Petit Prince, whichever one that's brown, I don't remember what it is now. Uh, I love the little sheep on the nib. It does feel really great in my hand, uh, but I don't take this one apart and I don't feel like cleaning it, which is why I don't really use it, which is why I should probably sell it. Then I have two Visconti Homo Sapiens. Uh, these are the like special editions that come out once a year. Midnight in Florence and Arizona at Sunset. Uh, Midnight in Florence, I usually put uh, Mont Blanc, St. Uxbury, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. The name is like this long into it. Um, don't feel like that right now. Uh, this has a palladium fine nib, uh, which is absolutely magnifique. Uh, this one uh, is a extra fine nib, uh, their gold version that I had tuned by Emmy because it was a big disappointment when I first bought it. It was terrible. Uh, but Emmy from Pen Venture uh, did tune that for me. So thank you very much. Um, I adore this. I actually may want to, um, do I? I don't really want to use a vacuum fill because it's so much ink. But on the other hand, I could put either Mont Blanc, James Purdy and Sun single malt in there or Dominant Industry Ginger Chicken. Okay, that could be a contender. I have two contenders, people. 
as I am about to choke on my spit, I have one pen left and that is the Wancher Dream Pen. This is the only Arushi pen that I have. I bought this off of Kickstarter. It has an ebonite feed uh, with a 14 karat gold fine nib. This pen writes really well for me. Uh, a lot of people had some issues. I think they've solved them since then um, for like the ebonite flow issues. Um, but I really like the way that this pen feels. I haven't used it in a really long time. The last time I used it, I was thinking like a year ago, probably. Um, I had Ferris Wheel Press Candy Marsala in here, which I did actually buy um, because I quite like it. Very close to being a contender, but I'm gonna pass. So my two contenders from this tray are the Visconti Homo Sapiens Arizona Sunset and the Sailor Pro Gear. <sighs> Sailor Pro Gear only because this is a vacuum fill pen and I don't want to have that much ink. Otherwise I probably would have chosen the Visconti but I still love this pen. So this is the contender for tray number two. It is gonna go head to head with my winner from tray number one. Like I said, check out my last video if you wanna know what that is. Uh, stay tuned to the third and final video that will be coming out where I will do this again, but with the third tray, uh, where I will also then in the same video, pit the three together that I chose. And then we'll have a winner of what I wanna ink up. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below what pens that I talked about today would you have chosen to uh, ink up and then if you knew or know what ink you would actually put in those pens. Um, check out the Patreon account if you want to help support me and what I do here. While you're down there you might as well hit that like and subscribe if you want to see more every Monday and Friday and the occasional random thing on Tuesday. Again, you want to find out more about that, you'll have to check out the Patreon. Until then, I'll see you next time.